Yo guys, this is Aprix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the finest example of PS Vita emulation on Android. So this right here is Mortal Kombat 9 running on Vita 3K Android with touch controls. You'll notice that the touch controls being shown in this gameplay look very similar to that of Citra emulator. That's because the developer is currently using temporary touch controls. The final on-screen controls will probably be different. The current one is just being used for testing. Now I'd also like to point out a mistake which I did in my previous Vita 3K Android video. Uh, so it was basically the Uncharted Golden Abyss gameplay of Vita 3K which I reviewed. So basically in that video I by mistakenly said that Vita 3K Android port was releasing within a month which I really don't know why I said that. I didn't even realize that I had said that during the voiceover of that video. I only noticed it after a few of you guys pointed it to me. So I am sorry for that. I really did not want to mislead anyone. What I actually wanted to say was that the main developer mentioned on his discord server that Vita 3K Android port may hopefully be available by next few months. Instead of saying few months, I just said within a month. <laughs> so that was the mistake which I did. Honestly speaking, I had zero idea that I actually said it in the video. Uh, I guess I was just out of it while doing the voiceover of that gameplay. And again, I'd like to apologize if it misled someone. As soon as I realized my mistake, uh, within just few hours of uploading the video, I trimmed out that part. There is an option in YouTube Studio where you can actually trim out or edit few parts of the video after actually publishing it. So I used that tool and I deleted that part. But anyways, this is literally Mortal Kombat 9 running on Vita 3K Android port and we'll be taking a look at actual combat as well. You can see that the loading screen take a lot of time. I actually had to fast forward it by 8 times and here we go. We have the results right here. Now you'll notice that there are few frame drops along the way and the FPS is not exactly playable but again it's just normal combat game so it won't be a big deal even if you are getting low FPS. Another thing which you'll notice is that the texture resolution is not that good. So I guess this gameplay has been descaled or is running on default settings. Now previously we have seen that uh, on Vita 3K Android port there are special resolution increasing settings which you can also apply. But let's take a look at the on-screen controls and how this game actually works. As far as my eye can see, there appears to be no texture glitches or issues present in this gameplay. But anyways, you'll notice that the game is little laggy, slow, uh, which needs to be fixed. I guess should work well on higher end devices. As you know, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor is coming very soon. It would be very interesting to test out emulation on that device, but unfortunately, as you guys know, it's too expensive and out of our league. By the way, as you know, we have seen Vita 3K Android port giving more than 30 FPS in few 3D games uh, in our previous gameplays. This gameplay is a perfect example that all games won't give similar type of FPS. The way this game is moving makes me very nostalgic. It makes me remember the good old days like in 2018, 2019. We used to play similar games on PPSS PP emulator with more or less FPS but it used to be so much fun. Uh, anyways, that's it for my voiceover. That's all I wanted to say in today's video. Enjoy the next 30 seconds of gameplay. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.